I think that's the smallest fish I've ever seen you catch. <laughs> it's a spot. It is a spot. Look at the pretty little tail on him. He's fat too. A little black tail. I don't think my arm's long enough to <laughs> make it look big. Oh, goodness. Big dog. Bait bite. Look, guys, I can throw something besides a swim bait. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to give you conditions rundown. So, we are out here on day one of practice. Me and Tim, as I always call him, Mr. Ledgehead. We've already got a couple in the uh, boat. I'm going to give you the water condition right now. Lake Cumberland, there is uh, a lot of garbage on this lake, man. Not garbage as in trash, but like logs, floating debris. Uh, kind of crazy. Beautiful lake. There's an awesome waterfall that you guys can't see right now, but hopefully we'll show you some of that stuff in a B-roll. The water is a good solid stain to it. What do you think water clarity wise? Three feet? right now about a foot and a half two foot about a foot and a half two foot of water clarity uh upper water in the lake you can see six foot down uh, upper end or lower end what you lower end towards the dam. lower end toward the dam you can see about six foot and then of course i guess it gets muddier up toward the river right yeah so it's about 67 degree right now he said it's he fished out here last week i didn't get to go i was still kind of under the weather had a lot of stuff i had to get caught up on he said it's about 10 degree warmer water temp than it was last week which makes sense because man we have gone through we've went basically from winter to summer right now it's supposed to be i think 84 degree today air temperature so getting bronzed and beautiful yeah getting bronzed and beautiful we've done broke out the sunscreen today uh hey they're busting right there i hope you guys seen that on camera right out in the middle that was pretty awesome the temperature is supposed to be cooling off and of course it wouldn't be a mountain division bfl if they wouldn't give it rain on the uh day of the tournament <laughs> everyone this year so hopefully it's still going to stay warm it's supposed to be around that 69 70 degree that day so nothing else we're at least going to get some uh, really beautiful weather but uh let's see if we can find some stuff <laughs> Oh, 
a little small mouth. How close do you think he is to a keeper? I'd say he's a keeper. Oh yeah. 19. You know, I do try to keep them kind of secret because that lake's so small. I mean, it can get beat up pretty, you know. Back in these cuts, man, that damn worm was killing them. But I swear, dude, smallmouth seem like it. They seem to be on the points too. I swear, every time I've got bit, they've been out on the point. See its belly. All right, guys, so we've hit a few spots. Got a little windy earlier. We picked up some on uh, spinner baits, some swim baits, some spotted bass, uh, small, uh, I caught a small, small mouth. That felt like a mouthful for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, keeper small mouth. Yeah, keeper small mouth, probably the better, better way. To, well, actually, that was an on keeper small mouth, the first one. 
Uh, Tim's caught a few uh, on floating worm, and uh, I've kind of been doing a little flick shake, kind of the same thing you've seen in the last video that Chris was doing. Uh, you know, go fishing with the other guys. You'll learn a lot from them. That's one of the reasons why I tell you guys all the time, come out and fish your BFLs. You know, find you a boater like Tim, and, you know, you can practice with them and learn from them uh, it's a great way to learn your local lakes is getting out here and practicing with guys like him that have been fishing these lakes for a very long time and you know the same with chris you know chris has been fishing south Holston a lot longer than me so far so good it's been fun caught a nice small mouth just a minute ago you should have seen that and uh tim's racked up on them so we're gonna move spots since we've got this one kind of nailed down and we've given it two thumbs up. So day two of practice kind of goes right along with day one. We started in a different section of the lake but as the saying goes second verse same as the first and the deal really was the smallmouth actually seemed to be biting the flick shake a little better i was just throwing a morning dawn worm and i was actually throwing it on a ned head so like a little z-man's ned head rig with uh, with the weed guard you know again as a co-angler you've got to be flexible and that, that head worked very well for both applications. Seemed like the smallmouth were bedding farther out deep, main lake points, secondary points, a lot of rock that they needed to be around. The spots were on the floating worm. They were kind of midway back into your creeks, your cuts. You know, they were super aggressive as spots are and we're coming after that worm anytime it would get around sycamore trees later in day two we actually find that the largemouth are beginning to pull up in the backs of the pockets so we actually had all three species coming to the bed right now so you'll notice we caught a lot of smaller fish and that's because it was the males that were really coming to the bed, at least in the areas that we were at. As the day went on, as far as weather conditions, day one was nice, it was sunny. We get a front moving in today. It starts raining about, you know, one o'clock. And, you know, guys, to be honest with you, we were just beating up patterns that we know were there. So we just decided to shorten the day, call it a day. We kind of knew what we were gonna do on tournament day. So on day two, we just decided to check a few areas. There and he is. Here's a few fish we found. Yeah. Uh oh. Bring your pet little bass in that dog. Ow. He's gonna be a little short too, ain't he? Yeah.
Hey guys, we're here. We're at the boat ramp waiting for the boater. This is tournament number three. We're on Cumberland Lake today. Wouldn't be a tournament this year if it wasn't raining. We're giving some pretty gnarly weather today. Hopefully it's not gonna be bad. Hopefully it'll get the fish biting. We'll see what happens. Let's go get them. Hey guys, Bass Geek here. We are at tournament number three on the BFL Mountain Division, Cumberland Lake. I'm with my boater, Mr. Chris Garon. What do you think's gonna happen today, brother? We got a lot of fish on the beds. It's gonna be raining, it'll be tough to sight fish, smallies, spots, large, all on the beds. I think it's gonna take at least 20 pounds to win this rodeo, but we're gonna go out after it. We already got one top 10 this year. We're gonna get another one. I think we're gonna catch them, but it's fishing. We'll see what happens. That's right, it is fishing. Got anything or anybody you wanna shout out? I wanna shout out to Dixie Marine, Ranger Boats, Mercury, Fairfield, Ohio. You need any Ranger stuff, head to Fairfield, Ohio, Dixie Marine. Life is good, brother. All right, man, let's go get them. Let's get them. Dude's awesome, as you can tell. Go fish the BFLs, guys. All right, so let me give you a rundown of how my tournament fished. Remember, guys, I don't show because I am a co-angler. You know, I don't film while I'm on the water. To me, asking to film uh, a boater or a boater's spots kind of puts them in a bad situation. You know, to me, when I ask if I can film while we're fishing, you know, I've got a YouTube channel. He doesn't know me from Adam, so, you know, and if he says no, I, you know, he doesn't know that I'm not going to go and just bash him on my YouTube channel. Uh, if he says yes, because of that reason, uh, that's not fair to him. And, you know, if he does say yes, you know, uh, I, I, I can't be sure it's not because he doesn't worry about, you know, what I might say in my video. Anyway, all that being said... So, my boater was sight fishing. And for co-angler guys, that is, you know, almost as close as you can get to a death sentence. Um, you know, I, I'd fish around some, you know, try to, try to get some bites, try to fish, you know, a little deeper, maybe have a big female that was sitting off in a deeper area, but, you know, never, never could get anything to take, anything to bite. Uh, we did go fish for some spawning smallmouth. Uh, I was super excited about that. I really felt good about uh, what I had found in practice with the flick shake. And sure enough, we went out. Uh, I actually, you know, had a hold and, and boated a uh, non-keeper. He was a little bit short. And I actually lost. And, it, you know, again, I've got to get better, be more focused in you know the rain but it was an absolute deluge just pouring down the rain uh flipped into this little spot hooked up with what i just know was a five pounder which could have very easily have put me in the money or very close to it uh with just that one fish uh, my hand slipped off the reel she jumped and came off all of that being said unfortunately it was a big goose egg i'm a long ways out of the cut now and i've got two tournaments left one of the tournament tournaments is a double points tournament so we'll see how that goes but of course it's double points for me it's double points for everyone so i'm not out of it but you know it's it's going to be a long shot the next uh, tournament is on the same lake I can't wait to get there. It's the Barren River. Uh, so tournaments four and five will be there. We'll see how it goes, hopefully uh, in my favor. 
So as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You know I love to talk about fishing with you guys. You know I love just to talk to you guys. So, you know, whatever you want, say hey down there. Uh, I do have a P.O. box, by the way, if there's, you know, anything you want to send, send to that. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it. If you don't want to send nothing, I'm fine with that too. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. By the way, be sure to ring my bell down there. Uh, if you want to get notifications so that you know when these videos are coming out and you guys freaking rock man